Hi, thanks for joining me. Today my topic is going to be a little bit more serious and not as much uh, fun as I usually have uh, with the uh, blogs, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, art clubs, the pros and the cons of being in an art club and uh, after having been in art clubs for uh, at least 10 art clubs and one co-op, uh, I have to say the co-op experience was the most pleasant I've ever ever had. Now I've been in more professional art clubs uh, like the Federation of Canadian Artists for instance and I have been in um, somewhat more social art clubs. However, I've generally found there is a pattern uh, that happens in all clubs. And a lot of it has to do with uh, your self-confidence as, as an artist, uh, where your goals are, what do you want to attain as an artist. And so I'd kind of like to address that a little bit. When you first join an art club, you always have at least, I'd say, three categories of artists. You have your newbies who are just, you know, really uh, open to new experiences, um, want to uh, learn as much as they can, uh, but are probably, uh, you know, slightly in insecure about the whole thing. It's probably their first uh, time at it. Then you have your, we'll call them the uh, in-between people, and those are people who are kind of undecided to some extent about where do, where's the next step up? and how do, how do I get there and so and those tend to be the majority of people that are in your art clubs they they want the commitment but they may not you know feel so um, naturally inclined to do it they, they they're taking the step-by-step -step approach to get to where they are or want to go and the third category is usually your professional artist or your um, you know your, your um, go-getters or as I call it uh, your overachievers <laughs> and that's good <laughs> you want them to so you generally and this is very generally have those three uh, categories now how the interplay um, is really what's going to make your club successful or not um, the big negative in all of these clubs is that um, that I've discovered and this is you know strictly my own opinion <laughs> and I'll probably get beaten up for it but that's okay um, you know who knows maybe this this whole video will go viral and I'll have millions of followers after this right because hey controversy hee <laughs> hee so anyways back to the topic so you're, you, uh, the professionals tend to be the ones who, who will go out and, and uh, you know, they'll become your presidents, your vice presidents, your uh, secretaries, and they, they, they tend to, to have a little bit more forward thinking. The big stumbling block in all clubs that I've been in has always been monetary. Now, I, I was not born rich or anything like that, and I worked hard for, for my money. I also saved a long period of time in order to um, have what I do have as an artist. Now, my belief says to me that if you want to be successful, you do have to spend money and you have to allocate it and you have to be willing to part with it. And I've basically found that most clubs, they just don't want to spend any money. And that's a real uh, big downfall. Uh, because you know, and let's say you're a professional club. If you're a professional club, you have to act and be professional, and that includes spending professional fees and and getting ahead and not whining about you know, oh, it's going to cost me fifteen dollars to go to a jury show for a painting. That's just part of business, the way I see it. And if you can't afford it, then don't do it. And so that's my big kind of eh about, about art clubs. And um, the other one would be that it always tends to be the go-getters who wind up doing the same job year after year after year. Uh, we had one lady who had been a treasurer for 10 years and until she finally just said, no, I'm not doing this anymore. You find somebody else. And then finally somebody stepped up to the plate but until you know um, you sort of 
do these things, uh, people will just continue to um, take advantage of, of your goodness and your willingness to uh, make the club succeed. But if only a few people do it, it's meh. You know, it's it, it's not it's not going to work in the in the long run. You uh, when you when you think of joining a club, any club, make sure you kind of understand the perimeters that are there. For instance, if it's a professional club, then what are the expectations of that club of you? Not you know, people will think, oh, what's a club going to do for me? Um, no. It, it, that's not the only approach. It's about exchange, exchanging ideas, exchanging information, uh, everybody working together. If it was up to me, the minute you join a club, any club, you would have an assigned thing to do. Um, and based on, you know, hopefully on, on what you're really good at. But, um, you know, this is, and really, this is not a popular view at all. <laughs> so I'm in the minority on this one. But uh, to me, that's what a club is all about. It's about let's, let's progress forward. Let's see where we can go. Let's get some, some people who research the Internet. Let's get people who, who, who are good at, at marketing and, and, and are good at talking to, to, to businesses. Let's, let's find outlets for what we do right and what we do well. Um, you know, so you need all these different types of people to be in there. And the last thing you, you need are people who, uh, and this has happened in a couple of places, but you don't want, you know, the person who's in charge, if you're a president, for instance, and I've been president, vice president, and all sorts of stuff. The last thing you want to do is sort of, um, go behind the president's back and get people sort of, um, you know, they're, they're not talking to the president about what their concerns are. They're talking to other people about what it is. And you can't address this unless you know what, what the issues are. And I've, I've generally found that, you know, the presidents tend to get, and, and vice presidents, they can tend to get pretty beaten up because, well, why? Well, they're, they're up there, they're, they're putting themselves on the line. And um, it's so easy for people to sit there and critique and criticize uh, the direction. But if you don't get feedback from your, your, your people, how are you going to be uh, effective? And if you go behind the back of the president to do things, how is that going to work in long terms? And so um, these are all things you need to consider when you are uh, joining a, a club. If it's meant to be, just a social club, then that's great. You know, you paint together and, you know, and that's, that's your main, your main focus. I find generally if you mix too many things up, like, okay, we're going to be a club that we're going to have, un invite other artists to talk about their work, but then you, you think of yourself as being a hoity-toity club and uh, you have a couple of ne negative elements in, in that uh, particular, um, scenario, it is not going to work long term. You're going to lose good people who, who, who want to, um, you know, have you succeed, but yet you're doing everything you can to subvert that. So um, for me, myself, after 10 clubs, I, I'm pretty sure this is it for me. <laughs> I've, I've done my time. Um, and I think this last experience where I had uh, with, um, you know, the, the uh, a really hardworking president um, who was progressive, who, who never even got thanked for the job she did, um, that really, that really, I think, has sealed it for me. You know, be, what's Ellen DeGeneres say? Be kind to, it, to one another. Well, you know what, guys, if you are in an art club, be kind to your presidents and your executives because they work a for free and they care and that's what upset me is a, a person who really cared did not get a fair um, a fair look at things uh, or a, a fair trial we'll give it a trial because it almost felt that way so um, this is my personal decision I am going to be extremely extremely careful uh, with any art clubs that I join 
But I'm not saying do not join art clubs. That is not what I'm saying. Uh, just be aware of the group dynamic that, that happens in, in, a, in an art club. Because you do have, um, people can be swayed and sometimes towards more negative uh, things. And that's not what it's all about. The, an art club or an art association, whatever you want to call it, is there for the benefit of all. And that's how it should be. I'm not the president of, of anything at this point, which is great. <laughs> Free time, I can paint. <laughs> but um, yeah, just 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 be kind and, and realize that everybody is 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 um, there to learn something. And so, hopefully, this talk has sort of given you a you know uh, a different perspective on art clubs, and not a negative one because that isn't what it's really intended to be. Um, what I want is for people to uh, take a harder look at why they join an association and how it is you can contribute to that association and not necessarily the other way around. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Take care. <laughs>